Hello. Good morning. My name is Carrie Sue George, and I'll be reading a book called Phoenix Edition: Beautiful George, uh, Beautiful Joe, by Sher- um, Marshall Sanders. Merry Christmas to Grace from Miss Margaret Shaw, December twenty fifth, nineteen twenty three. Beautiful Joe, an auto by. Graphy, by Marshall Sanders, author of *My Spanish Sailor*, *Charles and His Lamb*, *Daisy*, etc., with an introduction by um, Hezau Kazaya Butterworth, Hekazaya Hekazaya He Isaiah Butterworth of Youth Companion, Philadelphia, the Judd Press, uh, the Judson Press, seventeen o one, Crestnut Street. Entered according to the Act of Congress in the year nineteen, not, oh no, eighteen ninety three by the American Baptist Publication Society in the office of the Librarian of Congress at Washington to George Thorndike Angel, President of the American Human, Humane Education Society, the Massachusetts uh, Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals and the Parent American Band of Mercy, 19 Milk Street, Boston. This book is respectfully dedicated by the author. Preface. Beautiful Joe is a real dog, and Beautiful Joe is his real name. He longed, he belonged during the first part of his life to a cruel master who manipulated him in the manner described in the story. He was rescued by by him and is now, is now, hold on. I hate my glasses, they suck. Sorry, excuse my language. Um, mm, 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 mm-mm-mm-mm. Manner described, um, oh, manipulated him in the manner described in the story. He was rescued from him and is now living in a happy home with pleasant surroundings and enjoys a wide local celebrity. A wide local celebrity. The chapter of Laura is drawn from life and to the smallest detail is truthful, depicted. The Morris family has an, has its counterparts in real life and nearly all of the incidents of the story, oh, accidents in the story are founded on fact, the author. Introduction. The bu- uh, the wonderful, successful book entitled Black Beauty uh, came like a living voice out of the animal kingdom, and it spank for the horse. It spoke for the horse, and <coughs> made other books necessary. It led the way after the. After the ready welcome it that it received and the good it has accomplished and is doing it followed naturally that someone should be inspired to write a book to interpret interpret the life of a dog to a humane feeling a human feeling of the world 
such a story we have in Beautiful Joe. The story speaks not for the dog alone, but for the whole animal kingdom. Though it through, through it we enter the animal kingdom and are made to see as animals see and to feel as animals feel. The sympathetic sight of the author in his interpretation is ethically the strong feature of the book. Such books as this is one of the needs of our progressive system of education. The day school, the, okay, the day school, the Sunday school, and all libraries for the young demand the influence that shall teach the reader how to live in symphony with the animal world, how to understand the languages of the creatures that we have long been accustomed to call dumb, and the sign language to the lower um, orders of those dependent and belongings. The church owes it to her mission to preach and to teach the enforcement of the bird's nest commandment. The principle recognized by Moses in the Hebrew world and echoed by um, Cowper Calperter, Captor in English poetry, and Burns in the Meadow Mouse, and by our own long full, our, our own long fellow in Songs of Many Keys. Kindness to the animal kingdom is the first of the first principle in the growth of true philanthropy, Young Lincoln once wade across a half dozen river to rescue a dog and stopped in a walk with a statesman to put back a bird that had fallen out of its nest. Such a heart was trained to be a leader of men and to be cruel and to be crucified for a cause. The conscience that runs to the call of an animal in distress is girding itself with power to do manly work in the world. The story of beautiful Joe wakens an intense interest and sustains it through a series of vivid accidents and episodes, each of which is a lesson and the story merits the widest circumstances and the universal reading and response accorded to black beauty to circulate it is to do good to help the human heart as well as the creatures of quick feelings and simple language when as one of the committee to examine the manuscripts offered for prices for prizes to the humane society i read the story i felt that the writer had a higher motive than to complete for a prize, that the story was a stream of sympathy, sympathy, symphony, symphony, that flowed like the heart, that is, that it was genuine, and it only needed a publisher who should be, ma should be able to command a wide influence to make its merits known 
to give it a strong educational mission. I am pleased that the manuscript has found such a publisher and am sure that the issue of the story will honor the uh, publication society in the development of the book. I believe that the humane uh, humanity cause has stood above any um, spectate, uh, speculative thought of interest. The book comes because it is called for and the times demand it. I think that the publishers have a right to ask for a small unselfish service on the part of the public in helping to give it a uh, circulation uh, common straight with its opportunity, need, and influence. He's I has a he's a Zachary Butterworth of the Committee of the Readers of the Prize Stories ref- offered to the Humane Society, Boston, Mass. Contents, Chapter 1, Only a Cure. The, the Cruel Milkman is number 2. Number 3, My Kind Deliver and Miss Laura. 4, The Morris Boys Add to My Name. 5, My New Home and a Selfish Lady. 6, The Fox Terrier uh, Billy. 7, The Train... Training a Puppy, 8, A Ruined Dog, 9, The Parrot Bella, 10, Billy's Training Continued, 11, Goldfish and Canaries, um, 12, Malta the Cat, um, 13, The Beginning of an Adventure, uh, 14, How We Caught the Burglar, um, 15, our journey to Riverdale, 16, Dangley Farm, 17, Mr. Wood and His Horses, 18, Miss Wood's Pottery, 19, A Band of Mercy, 20, Stories About Animals, 21, Mr. Maxwell and Mr. Harry, 22, What Happened at the tea table. Thir- uh, 23, trapped wild animals. Um, 24, the rabbit and the hen. Um, 24, the happy horse. Uh, 26, the box of money. 27, the neglected stable. 28, the end of the Englishman. Um, 29, the talk about sheep. 30, a jealous ox. 31, is the cow stable. 32, our return home. 33, performing animals. 34, a fire in Fairport. 35, Billy and the Italian. Uh, 36, Dandy, uh, Dante the Trump. Uh, 27, the end of my story. That's it for now. Thanks. Bye.